How to install a thermostat it has L1 N1 N L connections and from the wall I have green white yellow and red wires. I have furnace and central AC thank you. Just to clarify, do you think this is a larger HVAC problem, or something specific to the thermostat? I'm just trying to replace my thermostat. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? System is working fine. Anything else we should know to help you best? No. Hi, I'm Brian and I'll be happy to help with this. What you describe on the replacement thermostat is what's called a line voltage thermostat. It will be incompatible with a standard heating slash cooling thermostat for a typical home AC and heating system. Thermostats for typical whole house or zoned heating slash cooling systems are low voltage thermostat controls. If you can give me the make and model number of the replacement thermostat you are looking at, I can tell you for sure but it sure sounds like a line voltage stat to me. Thanks, Brian. I'm trying to install a Honeywell RTH6360D. The unit I am replacing has standard brown, yellow, white and blue thermostat wire and then it has a phone jack connector with Cat5 wire plugged into it. Well, the Honeywell RTH6360D is a standard low voltage heating slash cooling thermostat. The existing one sounds a bit off though. Can you tell me the make and model of the existing thermostat please? I know of no standard low voltage heating slash cooling thermostat with an RJ45 connector on board and those thermostat wire colors are not really standard for four wire hookup either. In your first post, you reference green, white, yellow, and red, those are standard colors for a four wire hookup of a standard basic heating slash cooling system but the second set of colors is not standard. Brian, unfortunately this is located at a rental property that I am currently prepping for new tenants, and I do not have a picture or the model of the existing thermostat available to me at the moment. I just happened to stumble across this great site while doing research on this problem tonight. I may have to log back on tomorrow morning when I am back at the house working. What is my best option for coming back to this tomorrow morning? Pictures are worth a thousand words. If you can snap a pic of your old thermostat and wiring and upload it here using the attach files button next to the send button in your reply dialog window, that would be really helpful. We can resume this conversation on this same question tomorrow if that's what you need. Just log back into the Just Answer site and open this question back up, post a new response and I will be notified you did so. There's no need to open a new question, just post a new response on this same one. I can keep an eye out for your next post, and I'll also be notified by email you posted a new response. Great thanks. I typically don't start answering until late morning Eastern time so please pardon a slow response if you post earlier. If I can, I'll try to look earlier in the morning though. I'll look forward to your next post. Thanks and have a good night, Brian. Brian, good morning. Here is a picture of the bracket with the wiring for the existing thermostat. Thanks for that picture. I can certainly tell you what color thermostat wires should go to what terminals on the new Honeywell but I still have no idea what the Cat5 cable and connector is for. If I were to venture an educated guess, I'd say perhaps your existing thermostat may have a remote sensor of some sort hooked to it. If that old thermostat has a make and model number on it I may be able to give you a better idea of what that second cable slash connector is for. I'll write out a color slash terminal guide in my next reply and post it shortly. Here is how you will wire the RTH6350D, red wire to R. Leave factory jumper to RC, blue to G yellow to W white to Y brown to nothing, cut stripped end, bend over a one quarter of an inch of wire onto itself, 
Tape up the end and tuck the wire back in the wall. The GF and WF on the old STAT are odd designations as is the extra cable. Is this a condo with a water source heat pump or some other non-standard type heating slash cooling system? I may need a make and model number of the HVAC system to ensure things work right. Okay, let me see what I can do and I will let you know. Doing a quick search using the air cycler info on the base of the old stat gives me even more pause for concern. There is more to this installation that I'm not seeing that may have new thermostat installation implications. Meaning? Should I call someone? Not necessarily. I believe I have found the model of your old thermostat in the installation manual for it. Wire the new stat up just the way I said in my earlier post. Make sure you turn off the power to the AC unit since there is that brown wire. There is a real possibility you could blow low voltage fuse or transformer if you try to work it hot. What I can't determine is what that other wire is for. The old stat manual doesn't even reference a jack on it. Perhaps I don't have the exact old model manual. I would try wiring the new stat the way I recommend and see what happens. Run the system in all modes to make sure everything works once you get it wired and then the power back onto your HVAC system. Let me know if there's problems. Okay, I'll let you know. Could this old thermostat be tied into a building management energy system? Is this for a single family detached home or a hotel slash condo slash apartment? Commercial installation perhaps? This is a single family home two story with refrigerated air and forced air heating. No heating management system. Okay, then my best guess is that extra cable slash connector is for something else besides the heating slash cooling. Could be a remote sensor or perhaps some kind of energy recovery unit, it's hard to know. However, hooking the new thermostat up as I directed should work fine. Brian, thanks for the guidance. I will let you know how it works out. Very good. As long as your system is not a heat pump, the Honeywell thermostat should work with the installer setup functions as programmed out of the box. Please let me know how it goes either way. If it all works out good, please remember to rate your service positively, three stars or better with me before leaving as it's the only way I get paid for assisting you. Bonuses are always appreciated. Thanks much and I hope it works. Best regards, Brian. Hey Brian, good afternoon. Just wanted to let you know that I got this thing wired up as you suggested, and I'm not getting any operation out of either the heater or the air conditioner. I was able to get the fan to kick on when I switched it from auto to on. Not sure if you have any other suggestions. I really don't. I reviewed your picture of the old wiring and I reviewed how I wrote for you to wire the new one and it is correct. From what I can gather, the old thermostat is an air cycler and the model is stat. Click here for the manual I found for it. The thermostat clearly says it is just a normal heating slash cooling thermostat so it should, in essence, be nearly identical in wiring and operation to the new Honeywell. The wild card in this case is the extra cable slash connector. I have no way of knowing if something is standing in the way with that. Also, bear in mind that from power up and or connection of the face to the wiring base, there is a possibility of a 5 minute delay on the new Honeywell thermostat so make sure to give it that time. You should also make sure the time and date on the new thermostat are set. That can affect the start of ASUM Honeywell thermostats. If those suggestions don't work, I would need to see a picture of the inside of the unit that shows where and how the thermostat cable is wired in. 
a make and model number of the unit will help too. Whoops, I forgot to hotlink the old thermostat manual. Click here for that. Hey Brian, good afternoon. Just wanted to let you know that I wired this thing up the way you recommended and I am not getting any operation out of it. I was able to get the fan to turn on when I turned it to on from auto. Not sure if you have any other suggestions. Did you not get my last two posts? Here is the wiring harness off of the heater slash cooler unit. This is the wiring schematic and model. This is the back of the old thermostat. Okay, so reviewing all the info you've given and reviewing docs I can find on your old stat, I understand things better. It would appear you have a hot water heat fan coil unit with integral water pump that also has air conditioning attached. The wiring I had you do is still correct. The yellow wire is for heat and should be on W on the new thermostat, and the white wire is for cooling and it should be on Y on the new thermostat. The wiring at the fan coil unit in your picture and the diagram proves all that out as well. The added cable appears to be an option to make sure the water heater for the hot water heat slash potable hot water gives preference to the potable hot water first before it would allow the comfort heating to operate. It is what I thought. A remote sensor of some sort as I alluded to earlier. Not hooking that up should only have the effect of losing that preferential treatment of the potable hot water before comfort heat can begin. It should have zero effect on system operation otherwise. I don't understand why the system won't work unless there is another problem with it. Since the fan runs when you set the thermostat to fan on instead of auto, that tells me you have 24 volts so your low voltage circuit is not the issue. Beyond that, the new STAT is doing the same thing and wired the same way as your old one with the exception of the remote sensor which shouldn't affect heating or cooling operation at all when it's not hooked up. You do have yellow on W and white on Y correct? Even though that seems counterintuitive, which it is. I wired it up as you outlined. I left the system on tonight so I will check it in the morning and see if it keeps the house warm and maybe I am just missing something. I will update you in the morning. Okay, I'll look for your post tomorrow. Did you by chance try the AC? Did that work? Also, I assume the hot water coil in the fan coil unit is fed by a water heater of some sort that's close by to the unit, correct? I did not try the AC. The coil is on the roof. Ah, well I would say all should work with that model thermostat you installed the way you have it wired unless there is another issue within the fan coil itself. Perhaps a pump issue or a water heater issue, if indeed you find the heat isn't working. Okay, well let me know tomorrow and we can go from there. Have a good evening. Brian Thanks for all your help so far. You're very welcome. Hello again, I'm checking in to see if your system is working and if you have any more questions about it. Thanks, Brian. I have not been able to check. Okay thanks, I'll be here if you need further guidance. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.